Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Frost and welcome back to some more Overwatch content on this channel. Hell yeah. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. But today I'm going to be talking about the panel we recently had for the Overwatch League, which is basically, if you don't know, Blizzard brought in a bunch of casters, pro players, content creators like YouTubers and Twitch streamers, and they tried to balance the game. Well, they tried to balance the game, right? Um, because, as you know, Overwatch is a very unbalanced game. If you've ever played this game for more than about five minutes, you'd know that. Now, I won't, I won't, don't get me wrong, there has been times where the game has felt balanced, such as October 2020. The game felt viable, well not the game, but every hero felt viable. So, I'm bringing you a discussion today of which ones I think are bad, which ones I think, um, you know, could possibly be good. Now, I just want to point out before I dig into this, is that these um, specific changes may not come to the live server, okay? The, it's for a tournament that's going on, you know, if you want to view it, go see, uh, I think it's the Overwatch League uh, Twitch. So if you want to view this tournament, go to that, right? Um, it's All these changes are made for this, and I'll get into some of the changes in a minute. I think there's like 40 plus of them. Regardless of your opinion on it, I think some of them are quite pish, honestly. I don't know why they left it to professional players to ba balance a game. So I, some of them I don't hope to come into the live retail server because if that's the case, then we are truly fucked as a society. So one of the big ones that I'd like to point out is the Baptiste so-called so nerf. Now, if you don't know what it is, it is his regenerative burst is reduced from 75 to 65. Fair enough. Now his healing output is a little bit less, but he's still got his burst, you know, potential, so it's not bad. Um, but the main change they brought to him was immortality field no longer brings you to 20% of your health. And now you you now need one health and you'll stay alive. Now, some people are saying this is amazing, Baptiste is getting nerfed, but no, it's not. Immortality field is still there. If placed correctly behind a wall, say you guys have a grav and the Baptiste places it behind a wall out of your line of sight, the point is it's still there. They still have another chance in this team fight that should have been won, with your you know, assuming you have follow up damage to said grav. So, although people are saying it's, it's good, it's I, I can't agree with that. As a support player, Baptiste is really broken. If you disagree with me, fuck you, but, you know, he is, he's broken. You, you can't agree with that. The meta has changed so much since he was released. It's just, if you want to give Baptiste a nerf, per se, well, it's hard to explain. See, for Baptiste, he's a bit of a weird one. You can't really nerf, um, you know, Immortality Field. If you want Baptiste to be less broken, give him a rework, change him. That's that's it. Rework his kit so that he still, you know, feels kind of similar. Just get rid of Immortality Field for something else. Or, or keep Immortality Field but switch it for his ultimate and make his ultimate, you know, something else. No one needs a fucking IMAX Theater as an ultimate that does double damage, but that's not really a point of complaint. Um, people complain that it's too big, but to be honest, well, not much you can do about that. As I said, the game feels pretty unbalanceable at times, but yeah, so that's that's just one of the changes. Um, I rambled on a bit there, but honestly, people are saying it's a nerf. If you had half a brain, you'd realise that no, it, it's, well, it's a nerf, yes. It can still protect them if, you know, placed properly. And it gives the and if it is placed properly, it gives the healers on that team enough time to do to get their team back to full health. So really, no, it's not a buff. It's quite pish actually. So that's that's just one of the changes, right? That's just one. So another couple of changes that I'm currently on the ropes about are the Anna changes. And if you don't know what they are, um, you know, if you haven't read it, I might put a link in the description to the, the you know like a list of them, but. Anna's gaining two more ammo from 12 to 14, which I think is the original, but it used to be when Anna was released, but then they nerfed it a while ago. I could be wrong on that, but yeah, I don't know if Anna needs more ammo, but they're also giving her the ability to nano herself, like in a deathmatch, which again, 
I don't see the point of, to be honest. I've never really seen Anna as a character who needs like to be nanoed. Um, so I don't think that one will make it into a live retail patch because I've always seen nano as something you give more to someone like your Genji or your Soldier, your Winston, your Reinhardt, you know? It's not exactly something like, you know, we want to win this team fight, give it to our Anna. It doesn't really make much sense. You know, if you, if you wanted to like play a DPS based support, you'd just play Zenyatta because he has the DPS based support. So, yeah, it doesn't make much sense, I guess. If that makes sense, I don't know. So, yeah, I don't think that one will come in, but I'm on the ropes about it. I could be I could be completely wrong on it, but I don't think so. The other one I'm on the ropes about is the Bastion change, where now, when Bastion is in walking form, he walks 25% faster. So, the thing about this one is he has to be in walking form. It will not work in either tank or sentry form, so... This one I'm on the ropes about because I don't think Bash needs to be touched to be honest. Yes, he's got one he's got the lowest pick rate in the game, but it should stay that way because of his bullshit character they actually is. So I don't want that one to come into the live retail patch. I mean it might, but as I said, it's not the worst change because it is, he has to be moving. So bunker comps and stuff aren't too viable with it. He does need to be moving. So it's not the worst changes. I'm on the ropes of them. They might come, they might not. But I really, well, Anna, I'm not worried about. Bastion, yeah, that one could work on, I guess. Another change that's coming that um, is a nerf is Brigitte. Now, I know everyone's probably jumping in joy because Brig's broken, and as a Brig player, I can confirm this. Um, that's why I play her, obviously. But yeah, normally people get quite salty when um, as a character they actually play that gets changed, but to be honest, I think anyone with half a brain knows that Brig needs to be kind of dealt with. So yeah, basically Brig's Inspire um, is now, if Brig dies, well she has Inspire, like on her teammates or herself, um, it will now cancel it. So this kind of... I would say this gives Brig players more of a kind of don't be reckless warning, but to be honest, ah, uh, who knows. I feel like some people are still going to play Brig recklessly, and but she has the brawl kind of support after all, so she is meant to be in the front lane, or not in the front lane particularly, but behind the tanks doing damage to heal our team, but it kind of gives them more incentive to be less reckless about it, and you know, I think this change is not too bad. This one I wouldn't mind coming to live server, even though as a nerf, and I do play Brig, but yeah. This one, not too bad. One of the major um, complaints I've heard about the, the this panel is that heroes that sort of need a buff, um, especially at the higher ranks, um, didn't get one. And more specifically, as if you're actually interested in the Overwatch community and you're into the Twitch streams and stuff, you've probably seen Chips' take on Doomfist not getting any, um, you know, buffs or nerfs. Um, I, as I said, I am a like, mid-gold player, so I don't see Doomfist played a whole lot. However, there are, I've also heard it on Sumito when, you know, he's live, is that when Doomfist is quite underpowered, which is strange for, which some of you might think is strange for someone with one punch, you know, like one, you know, one hit kill capability, but in the age of CC that Overwatch is in, I kind of, I do understand where he's coming from, The Doomfist feels underpowered because basically every team comp at this point has someone that has CC abilities, so I understand that there's no, you know, changes to heroes that need it per se but as i said th these changes may not come to the live server so that there's something to hope for now though there's one change in particular that everyone's got their um you know balls twisted about and that is actually a change to tracer um if i'm not wrong they changed they gave tracer extra 25 per like 25 health so now instead of 150 it's 175 um, and the reason people are mad about this is because um, Tracer already has a very high, one of the highest I believe, uh, DPS potential in the game. Um, you know, with our one-shot combo, or one-shot melee I should say. 
or one melee, one clip, whatever, whatever you want to say, right? She's still got one of the highest DPS, so they changed, the reason for that is Blizzard gave her less health because of that, so everyone's mad because now, if it was like Tracer's pick rate's gonna go up, even though it's quite high already, at high ranks and even low ranks and whatnot, so yeah. That's one thing everyone's mad about. I, as a Mercy main, sure Tracer can be annoying, but Genji's worse, so... Yeah guys, that's going to be all from me. Do you like the changes? Do you not? Let me know your comments and let me know your opinion in the comments. Yeah guys, that's going to be all from me. Peace.